What is good on everyone? Thank you for joining me on today's video. So I'm going to be starting doing these sort of daily vlog sort of things. Maybe we'll see how it goes. But on my way to my parents' place to do a bit on the ST. All right. So guys, before we do get into this video, remember if you are new to the channel, you can subscribe at the bottom, and also don't forget to click that like button as well. And also don't forget the bell notification button. That just lets you know when I upload my new videos, basically. So down to the ST. It's been a while, so the plan is today. Ah, there she is. Cold start on the KMS. We'll do that in a sec. <laughs> yeah, so cold start. Also, I've got a few things I need to print off because I don't actually have a printer at the moment in my place. Uh, my mum still has the printer because it is hers. So I need to go around there and print off your invoices for the SC Legends hoodies and t-shirts and basically everyone who's purchased something, um, I always do you guys an invoice and uh, like a receipt basically so then you can keep it um, just in case anything goes wrong. Um, it's got the invoice number on there and everything so you can just give that back to me and then I can find out who you were through my system I've got going here so yeah and uh, while I'm out as well I'm gonna also go pick up some packaging as well some real nice packaging and um, probably go with WH Smith so that sort of stuff right okay so now I've just come out it's WH Smith's I've got some envelopes for the t-shirts and a massive big packaging envelopes for the hoodies these are padded as well so we'll take those and also we'll take the little envelope as well for the stickers and the key tags so that's good guys we're gonna get some sticky labels as well um, and then we should be good so if you ordered your stuff you're definitely gonna get it in a nice packaging all right so let's get out of here and get on to the next next shop and grab some more stuff. Let's grab those. Um, some real beefy, nice soft packaging for your clothing. Because I don't want to give you um, any old packaging. So um, I'm going to go to see what they've got. That keeps vibrating. And then, uh, yeah, we're just wing it today, guys. We're just going to have a bit of fun. So stay tuned guys and enjoy today's video. Um, I'm going to start doing, like I said, these sort of, you know, vlogs like this, um, just random vlogs, um, just to keep you guys giving you the content basically. So yeah, um, also if you are interested in any of the merchandise, just go on to the AJ Focus STR Legends storefront on the Facebook that would also be linked down below. Um, it's literally on my AJ Focus Facebook account. It is linked to that account, so you can go through my Facebook account to the storefront. It is all linked, uh, but I will also leave all the links to that at the bottom. And don't forget, the channel is still sponsored by Custom Mod. So you fancy yourself the RS vacuum pipe or these awesome looking. Blue LEDs for the ST. They're also in the back of the car. Get on their website and don't forget to use the discount code AJ Focus for that. Um, but I'm going to spin the camera around quickly because some of you have messaged me asking me what have I done to the ST since I haven't been doing any videos. And um, yeah, I've done a little bit, not too much because I don't really want to be doing too much at the moment because it is very cold again 
gone windy again and also I'm trying to save some bigger stuff but we're, just, we're, we're gonna see how that gets on so I'm gonna spin the camera and I'm gonna show you my new gear stick set up because some of you did see it in my KMS driving video in the back road so some of you didn't comment asking about this and I'm just gonna show you a few of you um, have already seen this um, when they went out to car meets with me so we'll spin the camera around so here it is then guys this is the new gear setup I've got going now it's still a short shifter um, still got the short shifter but this is just um, an extension basically that's all it is um, so it's closer to the steering wheel as you can see I can get to the gears much quicker straight back you know get going quickly um, what I do want to do though is get back down under here later on cut away you won't be able to see it from up here but underneath just cut away a bit of the um, plastic under here so that I can erase the um, short shifter a little bit more so it doesn't because at the moment it's, the short shifter is right there you can probably see the little bulge that's a bulge right there um, that's how high I've got the short shifter at the moment I want it to sit a little bit higher because now the gear stick is a little bit higher up um, it's still real short as you can see it's really short and nice and solid um, but yeah this was on eBay if anyone's after it I can always um, give you the link for it I won't leave it at the bottom just in case none of you are interested but if you are I will give you the link um, it comes this is all billet which is really, really cool and it's all sort of like see-through as well so I got it obviously I went for it in blue because obviously I love my blue and then I kept my original gear knob my original get forward gear knob but the best thing is about this right this is extendable so on the back it's got these two screws and you can see the little notches in the actual shaft so you can raise and lower it down even on down here there's a few screws that's just to grip it onto the original gear stick so the original gear stick's still there um, so yeah I just I just like it because I'm a sometimes when I'm going on the back roads and that I feel like when I was going down there it's a bit of a you know a bit of a distance to get back on the wheel so now it's right there when I go for the back roads now some fun with DST I can actually get on the gears much quicker you know see look at that straight in gears now so I'm much quicker at getting the gears which is what I really really wanted I always criticize how low the gear stick sat in the STs and how much you've got to travel so having it closer to the steering wheel just gives you that better driving experience in my opinion so that's why I got one and got that. Um, so yeah, guys, let's get going. The DST's warmed up enough, yeah? No, not yet. Anyway, yeah, I'll see you at my parents' place. See you in a bit. All right then, guys, so I'm at my parents' now. I've just printed off um, a few invoices. Still got a few more I need to print off. Uh, these are for people that have ordered from the ST Legends merchandise store. So this is the invoices you can expect. So I'm obviously hiding their address for uh, obviously for reasons. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, so that's the invoices. So this person here has ordered a t-shirt. Um, and this person here has ordered a black and white hoodie as well. So awesome stuff that's it then guys i am finished printing off a few invoices and then i'm going to head out to get some more packaging so i'll see you guys in wh smiths so before we go outside guys and do something on the st because it is spitting at the moment and really really windy today i just thought because my dad always moans about this laptop how slow it is so i'm just doing a disc clean up for him and doing a defragment as well and just going through the hard drive basically and seeing what sort of crap um, I can get rid of and make space to make it run quicker for him. And then um, we'll pop outside when it stops spitting. And unfortunately, like I said, it's going to be really, really windy. So the install is going to be quite a quick little talk over. Um, like I said, I've already installed it in my underground car park the other day. But I was about to video it, but my phone, but my camera died. So I couldn't record it all. So that's why I'm over here now do it to give you a quick run through so let me just finish doing this and then we'll pop outside awesome 
Right then guys, I oh, know, been a while since we've done a hands-on sort of video. Anyway, let's get into it. So, a lot has changed on the engine, a little bit on the engine bay since you last saw it. But, like I said, I do apologise about the wind as well today, like I said, it's really, really windy. So I'm going to try my best to cover the microphone with my hand. So, here it is guys, here is the ST Mark III RS style airbox, it fits perfectly. So we've got the pro silicone hose here as well, going into it. And you might have seen as well, the crossover has changed. Yes, I've changed it from that Dream Science one that went across down to the AirTech one. I did a swap a few nights ago uh, for a... Uh, I wanted one in black really, but actually now seeing it in chrome, or yeah, polished chrome, um, it actually brightens up the engine bay a little bit more because it was quite dark under there. I don't think I'm changing certain things in there again, like the gloss black going to proper... Get, get carbon again, get some carbon wrap and probably take it all out and redo it again along with the bits on the side here and I have a new strut brace coming as well for the front this standard Ford one's going to go so if anyone out there wants a standard Ford ST strut brace let me know but yeah I've got a new strut brace coming on order um, it's basically like a summit race and strut, strut brace so stay tuned for that but yeah it's changed under here so um, if you've just joined me on the AJ Focus YouTube channel this is my ST and this is what you can expect on the channel. So we've done a lot over last year, done the coolant pipes, we did, what else did we do? We did the RSEC holder, you know, we changed the filter setup, didn't we, a few times, um, exhaust, yeah, so now it's, it's changing again. So we've recently done the RS vacuum pipe here, so you can check out the video for that. And also don't forget to go on Custom Mods website to check that out and get 10% off on one of those. Like I said, we're running the AirTech crossover now, um, which is actually slightly bigger diameter than the, um, the Dream Science one, because these Jubilee clips, I uh, was struggling to get these on. So this pipe is much bigger than the Dream Science one. And to be honest, I was fed up with it going across and down, because it kept, look at that, it kept scratching up the uh, paint. I've got to redo this again anyway. I probably will do it in the summer. I probably will actually take it off the car again and do it properly, because I normally just, yeah, it's not very good now, is it? So yeah, I'll probably will actually redo it properly, or just wrap it. So yeah, I wasn't really happy with it rubbing away at here. And also, it kept rubbing on the strut brace, which is why I put that little rubber um, black tape thing there as well. So um, I'm much happier with this one. And then here it is, guys. This is what you wanted to see. It, it fits. A lot of people say, oh, it won't fit the ST engine bay. It clearly does. And I'll tell you what, it really does make a difference. Um, throttle response is much smoother. Uh, much more responsive as well and also because where it's not sucking in any heat it's protected under there you can actually remove the lid and just have the air filter exposed and then keep the bottom part of the filter cool still um, if you want the induction noise but because I am actually running the KNN filter in there you can just about see it doesn't quite fill the whole gap which is what I really actually wanted because I still actually get the induction noise coming out of that little gap and people could be like, oh, it's going to be sucking the hot air from there. It's not, because it's cool here, because I kept the original induction pipe down there. That goes through that vent. So it still gets cold air coming up here, and it's, I can feel the air right now, because like I said, it's windy out of today, so I can actually feel the air blowing up through there. So it's getting air from there into there. It's getting air. I had to sort of cut this badly the other night. Um, up through into there and down there. Um, I'm going to get some more plastic glue and glue that part back on so it covers it. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm happy with the setup. And like I said, it fits perfectly. So what I want to do first of all is take the filter box back out because there's a little peg down there that I'm not happy with it being that close to the gear linkage. I need to cut that off. Uh, I don't want that catching. So let me get some tools. The tools you're only going to need is a... Is a what, Adam? Is a what? Oh, I just need to remove it from there. So we'll move it from, we'll move it from the actual Jubilee clamps. All right, so that was easy to remove. So like I said, you just need to remove the bend and then it comes out nice and easily. So as you can see, um, that's a little hole there. One of the bump stops does go in that, but it's not, that's too thick, so it doesn't really matter. It can't move anywhere, because it's still got this connected to it. But this is what I need to cut off because I'm worried about that part sticking out. That bit at the bottom down here, catching on the linkage because it sits just above this obviously on the 
other focuses they obviously have a different sort of connection here to sit into a rubber grommet maybe um, this one doesn't have it obviously because it's not really meant for this airbox but I'm gonna, just going to get a hacksaw just chop the end of that off and then uh, stick it back in and uh, we should be good and also I was driving a minute ago and it's rattling in here and I know exactly what it is is that bracket um, yeah it's that I need to take that off as well so let's go and get a hacksaw. Cool, all right, I'm happy with that. I'll chop that bit off. Looks better. Not sticking out now. Nice and flush. It's good. Right, I'll stick that back in. And now I just need to remove that at the back, which is a Torx piece, I'm guessing. All right, okay, it's coming undone. There it is. Okay, got it. All right, there we go. I'll take that off because it's not quite long enough. Because I've actually put that pipe a little bit higher so then it can obviously compensate for the air just to sit in there. Um, yeah. Next thing I do want to do actually is get some auto sole polish and polish that chrome pipe as well. Because it doesn't look great at the moment. So let's go and polish that up as well while we're here. He says while well, looking in Aladdin's cave because it is like disappeared. I think my dad might have borrowed it for his exhaust tips. Yeah. I can't see it anywhere. Right, I think it might be at the front. Oh yes, good old, old O-Sol. So I've got that on there. I'll leave it on there a little bit, for a little bit, about five minutes. Let it really sit in there and give it a good buff off. So I'm gonna use a, a rough, well, a soft, rough bit of tissue. That makes sense, it is soft. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it gets right into it. And then I'll use a microfiber cloth afterwards just to buff it right up. Um, it's so far though, it is coming off quite nicely. I mean, there are some black marks on it. Look at that already, though. it's starting to polish up already. Magic this stuff in it, eh? Oh, it's all absolute magic. It's something kind of, what's that word? Therapeutic, you know, satisfying. It's about doing this, you know, just watch, just keep rubbing it and rubbing it and rubbing it until it's like, oh, look at that, that it comes out real shiny, like. Oh, yeah. There we go, that's, that's this is chrome porn right here. <laughs> right, I'm gonna leave that for a little bit longer. We're back in just a sec. Oh, yes, look at that. That looks much better, doesn't it? Yeah, I like it. Right, okay, so let's get this RS airbox back in and then move on to something else. But I am really, really happy the way that's come out. It's really 10 times much better, isn't it? It really does look awesome. Yeah. Oh, stay tuned, guys, by the way. I'm talking to. I told you it's windy out here today. Oh, God. Sorry about that. Yeah, stay tuned, guys, to my Facebook page. I'll chuck up on Instagram as well, because. That's where I'm talking to them, and also on the YouTube channel. Um, next, I don't know how long it's going to take, but just stay tuned um, for updates and that. But I'm talking to the guys at Funk Motorsport at the moment about heat protection on these engines, because as you know, the STs, well, not just this version of the engine, the obviously the Mark II RS engines get extremely, extremely hot under here, and we try so much to keep it cool, which is why I've got loads of this gold heat wrap stuff, and I'm hoping that. Funk Motorsport, when they get back to me, they can do it better than I can, like tidy it up and wrap it better than I can, you know, all at the back here. All the way down the back down there as well, up on the turbo. And all that. Um, and also the bonnet vents as well, keeping it nice and cool. There's the gold stuff under the bonnet. With my custom made gold um, heat shield around the coolant tank as well. So yeah, as you know, these, like I said, these engines get really, really hot. So I'm talking to Funk Motorsport and hopefully they can come up with some sort of designs for my ST and they want to make a turbo blanket and try and just help keep it cool under here for me. So I'm talking to them at the moment and I'll update you as soon as I find out what's going on. Which is why now I'm going for the cold, much colder air intake as well. I don't mind the open filter, but it just sucking a lot of hot air. And I really, as you know, with my setup, I really, really wanted this air box and I'm glad I got it. So let's install it. And like I said, it fits in there perfectly. You just need to wrestle it in. All right, and it will go in there. So you've got loads of gap 
loads of room for this filter in here. There's that Starware box. So it, it, it does work with this engine, obviously, because the RS has it. And the RS has the same sort of crash setup beam here as well. You follow in the curve here with the air filter. Um, so yeah, it fits in there nicely. The only thing I had to do was sort of custom make this hose fit onto my stainless steel pipe, just about to sit through that gap there, to fit on the k and filter. So I was going to use the original ST big filter that came in there, but for some reason the diameter was a bit too um, small or large, I can't remember, one or the other, anyway. And I couldn't get the chrome pipe to fit, and I couldn't use the MAF extension they had on here as well, so I had to remove all that and make my own custom sort of pipe that goes into this airbox to connect the filter inside. Like I said, this is just here to keep it nice and cold in there, and I must admit, does transform that messy open filter setup to a nice sort of OEM still performance sort of airbox and I really I am so chuffed I'm really really am happy with the crossover now I'm happy with the air filter because this is what I really wanted to do as you remember like last year guys I was going on about how I want to get the RS sort of style airbox on here and I really am properly happy with how this setup's gone it's not too leery I like to keep it sort of a little bit of a colour in there, but I do like to keep the OEM sort of stuff just with upgrading the performance parts. So I'm really, really happy the way it's looking. And the best thing about this, right, because it's rubber, it just clips on nice and easy. All right, next thing I need to do now, guys, uh, I've given it a bit of a wipe down, a bit of a clean up, it looks much better. I will end up wrapping the lid, putting carbon, and I'll get around to doing the rest of it. But for now, I probably will rip off the ST Legends as well here and uh, install the new ST Legends sticker which is that one now if you want to grab one of those guys just let me know they're only three quid so i'll probably wrap that in carbon and put the new st legend sticker there or maybe go down at an angle there and that'll look pretty cool next thing i need to do is obviously take this headlight off now um because my xenon keeps coming on and off so i think i might have pinched a wire in there so i need to figure out why the xenon is playing up uh what piece on here i think it's that one there Is a tiny bit sticking out. Driving, like the vibrations and that on the car. Shouldn't. Oh, yeah, it flickered then. Did you see that? So the wire keeps coming. Oh, it's gone off again. So there's definitely a wire at the back. It's been pinched. Yeah. Alright, let me just sort this wire out, guys. Okay, so I'll take the headlight apart. Well, not literally, but. Yeah, I took the Xenon out, and I do believe that little bubble inside is the gas that's not mixing or whatever it does in there. Um, luckily, I do carry spare ones. These were the standard ones that were in the headlights before. Uh, not very, not they, they don't give a blue tint like these ones, and these are much brighter as well than the standard ones. So I'm going to, have to put this one in for now because I do need lights to drive at night. So one's going to be quite nice and blue, and the other one's going to be quite um, white, like a creamy white colour, which I'm not looking forward to. So I'm going to get home and order myself one of those in a minute. 
So let me just stick this back in. I'm a bit bummed really because uh, these have lasted very, 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 very long time. For almost three years. Four, yeah, got up to three years. Maybe even longer than that. You can pre zone Adam on before I had the car, so maybe even like longer than that. So but probably about four or five years. So they've lasted a good long time. So um, it's a shame. But I'm guessing the gas is get old and yeah, I kept flickering on and off. But yeah, just didn't want to come back on afterwards. It came on for about a second and it flicked itself back off again. So let me just install this and see what happens. If it doesn't, if it does it with this, then I do know there's a wiring problem. Um, so I'll look into it a little bit more. But for now, let's just see if this bulb does the same. Yeah, unfortunately, you can actually see the difference in the colour. There's a very creamy white where there's a bit more blue. So I can't drive around with mixed coloured headlights. <laughs> right, I'm going to stop it here for a minute and I'll be back and I'll figure out something else I need to do. Right guys, I'm going to call the video there I think. It's just getting way too windy out here and it's starting to rain again as well. Um, so I fixed the headlight, I uh, rejiggled the airbox, I've printed out the invoices for you guys as well who's ordered the um, merchandise so I appreciate that like I said if, doing these videos wouldn't be possible if it's not for you guys to uh, grabbing the merch um, especially now I've got the RS airbox um, that's taken me a few months to save up and um, get to that stage to buying that so I appreciate it guys thank you very much keep on grabbing the merchandise for me please um, yeah, like I said, I really do appreciate it, and it wouldn't be possible to do these videos if not for you guys grabbing that awesome gear. So, um, yeah, like I said, all the links and that will be at the bottom if you really, really want to go and grab some of that awesome stuff. Um, so, yeah, I will appreciate that. So, I'm going to go home now, and, uh, well, I need to order myself one of these. Um, I think CEUK, -E I think they sell them, so, or Custo Mod. I might see if Custom Mod works, obviously I'll use my discount code then. Um, so yeah, if you enjoy these sort of videos guys, give me yeah, a thumbs up and also just comment below let me know if you do like these. I'm going to try doing a bit more of these videos anyway, uh, just tinkering around and just sort of almost like daily vlogs if I can, I'm not too busy. Um, so yeah, I'm going to shoot now, but before I go, everyone likes to hear the KMS. smell of a decat as well. Nothing better than a decatted smell. Oh, stinks. <laughs> anyway guys, thank you very much for watching, I do appreciate it as always, and I will catch you on the next video. Peace out.